Hello and welcome back to the Aquarium Shed. My name is Owen and today I want to talk to you about this steel canister and what it can do. Now you've all heard me raving about DIY CO2 and how it can help keep the cost massively down when you're establishing plant growth in a new aquascape. And some of you may well have seen my video about soda bottle kits that can work really well. Those kits also have their limitations, not least that they can quickly become a waste of money and ingredients if you have a broken seal and are not able to pressurize the system. So I spotted this on eBay, a pressurized steel cylinder that will take the same ingredients of citric acid and baking soda and contain that reaction in the cylinder so that you can have a contained source of CO2 very similar to what you have when you purchase a normal CO2 canister for your aquarium. Now, I want to take a look at this and show you how it works, but I also want to do a comparison of this product versus professional CO2 systems. In order to do that, I turn to the absolute wonder that is Reddit. I posted a picture of this system along with a short question asking about how much CO2 would be created by following the manufacturer's instructions of 200 grams of citric acid and 200 grams of baking soda. Now my sincere gratitude to Confuse Squid 23 for answering my question. And when I say answering, I mean really answering it and going into great detail about what was happening inside this cylinder. I really was very impressed with how awesome this response was. So I'm by no means a chemist, so I'll try and explain Confuse Squid 23's answer in layman's terms as best as I can. For those of you with more of a scientific brain, I'll put the full response up here and uh, put a link to the Reddit thread in the description. What Confused Squid 23 explained is that citric acid and baking soda have different molecular weights and that the baking soda is the weak base in the reaction. For every molecule of citric acid, three molecules of carbon dioxide form. He then went into some pretty complicated looking equations using the molecular weight of each ingredient to determine the answer, which is that 200 grams of citric acid combined with 200 grams of baking soda will react to create 104.79 grams of CO2. How amazing is that? Honestly, I'm in awe at that response and ecstatic about the result. The total ingredients cost me about two pound in the UK. And for that, I can produce almost 10 grams more CO2 than the commonly available 95 gram cylinders that were set me back around 15 pounds in the UK. For those of you who are really enjoying the geek off, I did follow up this response with another question. What I understood from his response was that not all of the ingredients were being utilized in the reaction. So I asked what the most efficient ratio was. Again, Confused Squid 23 did not let me down, explaining that the optimum efficiency could be achieved at a ratio of baking soda to citric acid of one to 1.3. So if I wanted to be super duper efficient, this is one more consideration that would make this system even more cost effective. But to be honest, I'm just happy that the manufacturer's suggested ratio is gonna save me a ton of money, and I'm not gonna recommend pushing the cylinder beyond its capacity. That said, I am very reassured by its safety release valve system. Okay, enough about Reddit and chemistry. How does this system actually work? First, let's take a look at what you get in the box. It's a steel cylinder which has the key instructions printed on the side, which I think is a pretty convenient and well thought out solution. Alongside the main cylinder, you get a box which contains the CO2 reducing valve with a detachable filter and ceramic end cap. This all screws together reasonably simply and they supply a spare o-ring for the valve seal which is great because obviously getting a good seal on this system is essential. The valve screws onto the main cylinder and has a needle valve and hose connector as you would expect of any CO2 system. You add the dry ingredients to the cylinder according to the instructions. In this case I have the 2 litre model and the instructions state 200 grams of baking soda and 200 grams of citric acid. It's important not to add the water at this stage as soon as the reaction starts, you're essentially creating one of those school project volcanoes. You need to be really quick to seal this container once the reaction starts. So with the dry ingredients in the container and the valve seal at the ready, you tilt the container at an angle and quickly add in 300 mils of water and seal the container as fast as you can. From what I can tell from a full start, the tilt is important. It means that the reaction does not immediately explode upwards and out of the canister and gives you a few seconds extra that you need to get everything sealed. Once that bit is done, the hard part is over and the waiting game begins. Over the course of a couple of hours, you will see the needle valve steadily climb and you can tell the reaction is taking place as the cylinder gets very cold and condensation starts to form. Once the needle valve is in the green zone, you can attach a bubble counter and even a solenoid valve if you so wish, and then attach the hosing and the diffuser to get started with feeding your planted aquarium with CO2. So what do I think to this system? It's surprisingly good. Yes, you have a slight hassle when you first start the reaction and you have to seal everything up super quick. But after that, it's plain sailing and far less temperamental than my soda bottle kit. 
I've been using the system at one double every two to three seconds during daylight hours, and in my first reaction I achieved 33 days of CO2, which is very comparable with a 95 gram cylinder, but for 7.5 times less money. The product itself cost £45 on eBay and shipped from China in about two weeks, which was very impressive. Obviously, factoring in the initial outlay, this system will start to pay for itself at month four, so I'd say it's well worth the investment. If this is something you'd be interested in trying out, I'll leave a link in the description below. So I hope that was a useful rundown of a DIY CO2 system that I think is well worth the money. Let me know your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. And finally, one last huge thanks to Confused Squid 23 Whoever you may be, you help me immeasurably. There's absolutely no way I would have been able to work out all the chemistry without you. Right, as ever, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I shall see you next week. Take care. Two canister from the aquarium for your aquarium. Hello and welcome back to the aquarium.